Hi, this is Paul from Domain Scanners. This webcast shows how to use the ADO.NET Entity Framework with MySQL databases. We're going to start by downloading the ADO.NET Entity Framework package, uh, version 4.1 RC, as you can see here, and installing that within Visual Studio 2010. And then we're going to install the latest connector, version 6.3.6, which I've done a bit of research and this should work okay with the entity framework package we're downloading here. You might want to do a bit of research as as time goes by obviously new versions of both the EF package and the connector will be released so just make sure that they're compatible before you set off on your project. So here I'm just going to download the package and install it. And this might take a few minutes to install so I'll speed up the video here. So that's finished, and now I'm going to install the connector. Now before you download you have to register with the site, which I've already done. And then you just pick a, a mirror to download the package from. I'm in the UK, so I'm going to pick this one here. just created a folder here to, to install this to, to save this to. So now I'm going to unzip this. In fact I always like to unblock it first as well. And once that's done we should be able to run the MSI file ok you might get this if you've already installed um, a previous version of the connector so I'm going to go into the control panel now and delete this Right, so that's now deinstalled, so hopefully we can have more luck this time. Okay, so that's the EF package and the MySQL connector installed.